Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to show you how to find and use the HSB sliders in Photoshop. So I'm using Photoshop CS6 but it should be the same in all of them. So first of all you need this colour panel up here in the top right. If you don't already have that, just come across to Window and make sure that colour is ticked and that will bring it up. By default, these might say RGB. So we're going to click on this icon in the top right hand corner and we're going to change it to HSB sliders. So with my brush tool, this is the colour that I've got selected at the moment, which you can see in this colour swatch here as well. So we're going to use these HSB sliders to alter the colour. So the first one here, H is for hue, and that represents your main colour really. And that's our starting point. So you can see I can click and drag this and it changes the colour in the colour swatch. So that's a very simple way to change the colour. Below that we've got S, which stands for saturation. So the more I drag this to the right hand side, the stronger the colour will get, the more saturated it will get. Let me just change the colour to give you a better example. So this is a blue with a medium saturation, then if I turn the saturation up to full, and if I turn it right down you can see it goes completely grey. So I think of this as the saturation is almost the strength of the colour, the vibrancy. If you bring it all the way down, it greys it out and there is no colour to it. And last of all we've got brightness, so it's pretty self-explanatory. If we turn this up to the left, it includes more black. And if we take it to the right hand side, it gets lighter in colour. So that's it, that's the really simple way to use the HSB sliders. And last of all, one thing I want to quickly touch on is if this is our colour at the current brightness, if I turn the brightness towards black, self-explanatory, if I turn it all the way to the lightest it'll go, this is what we get. So how do we get it to go white and why isn't it going white? And we have to go back to our saturation slider and turn that down up here. So I used to think this seemed a bit weird, but another way of looking at it is if you click on your colour swatch here to get up the colour picker, the hue would be this bar here, which would drag up and down to select your colour. The saturation would go from left to right, so on the very left hand side we've got grey again, and if we go all the way to the right hand side we've got the strongest colour. And brightness, the further up you are, the brighter it is, and the further down you are, the darker it is. So again, if you've got saturation to full, as you can see here, I can go all the way down to the bottom, and this would be black. But if I drag this as far as I can upwards with the brightness, this colour here is as bright as you can go with that much saturation on. So again, you would have to lower the saturation here to get the brightness down. So that's how it converts to the colour picker. You don't have to use the HSB sliders of course, but I know a lot of artists do like to work this way. But that's it guys, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you leave me a comment below and hit that thumbs up button, and be sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching everyone.